Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing my August favorites. Really excited about this month's favorites because there were a few products in here that really were game changers for me and just some products that I'm really genuinely excited to talk about. So if you are interested in hearing about my favorites for this month, then just keep watching. can't lie, August was definitely a very, very busy month for me. It went by so fast and there were a lot of products released this month. I definitely did not have a chance to play with as much new products as I would have liked or to have spent enough time playing with a lot of these new products. So a lot of things I feel like are missing out just because I did not have the time to really thoroughly test them to see if they were worthy of being in my favorites. But these products definitely made the cut. So that's how you know they're good. So let's start off with complexion products. Obviously, a ton of complexion products came out this month. So many foundations that I tried out. There probably definitely would be a couple more foundation products that I would like to add had I had more time to thoroughly test the items out. So I've been spending the last week or so retesting foundations that I've already reviewed so that I can do a final roundup. But none that I've used long enough that I feel like I can feel comfortable throwing into my favorites, except for this one. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is absolutely fantastic. I would definitely recommend you check out my full-blown review on this. My experience with that is the exact same way that I feel with it. It is so good. Now, obviously, this is a tinted moisturizer, and it's not one of those more full coverage tinted moisturizer. Like, right now, I'm wearing the NARS tinted moisturizer. That one had coverage. This one basically has little to no coverage, but the way it makes your skin look is so pretty and healthy. Just based on my job, I can't be wearing these heavy foundations throughout the day. It would make me feel gross, and it would look gross as well. So this has been the perfect solution for me, which is why I've gotten so much wear out of it. I, it doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup but it makes my skin look so much better and more perfect and it gives your skin such a healthy glow that you cannot get with any other type of product honestly so if you're on the market for a very light coverage skin perfector honestly this is it this has been amazing just for my lifestyle this has fit it perfectly for the last month and it will definitely continue to do so for quite a while so very excited about that product the next product is from milk makeup this is the flex highlighter in the shade lit i have been so obsessed with this highlighter. It's what I'm wearing right now. This formula is very, very unique, and it's really hard to find a formula of highlighter nowadays that you haven't seen before, especially the way it looks on the skin, but this one really is special, and I'm definitely hesitant about purchasing single highlighters because how different can they be, but this one I do not regret at all. Now, I did do a full review on this as well as their new foundation stick, which I did really like. I just haven't used it enough for me to put it in my favorites, but I imagine if I had done Double, triple checked on that foundation it would be in this favorites but I'm gonna stay honest and just talk about this because I've used this a ton. I think my favorite thing about this highlighter is the way that it blends into the skin so seamlessly so it does take a little bit more time in your application to really blend it in but there's something about the way that you can get it to blend in to where it looks like there's no start and end point to the glow. It just is a glow from within that's really beaming and natural. It's a very smooth highlighter and I like that it's blinding without being too white or stark on the face. It's just so pretty and I definitely recommend this highlighter. I know we all have enough highlighters, but this is genuinely a really, really nice formula. So Milk did a very fabulous job with that. So this next item is a brush that I use for complexion and I do want to talk about it because it has changed my game as far as my makeup artistry goes. So this is from the brand Esum, which you can get on Muse Beauty Pro and this is the W25. I actually have a couple of these and I wasn't quite sure as to what I wanted to do with them. So for a while, they did kind of sit because I didn't really know what to do with them, but I found the perfect use for this brush. It's changed the way I do makeup on my clients. So this is what I use for concealer. Basically, when I'm doing a client's makeup, this is the perfect shape to blend out concealer or whatever base on the eye. It just fits the eyelid perfectly. You don't have to use your fingers and get your fingers all dirty. You see, it just, it blends the cream 
cream out so beautifully it doesn't suck up any of the product and then of course after I do the eyes when I do go on to do concealer this really is the perfect size to blend it right out and I do still prefer sponges on myself but you know you can't use like beauty blenders and stuff on clients and those disposable sponges are not very good and so this is completely replaced disposable sponges in my kit now I am I'm always fearful of brush strokes and honestly yeah every now and then you do have a brush stroke show but it blends it out, it blends itself out if you give a little bit of extra love it really does smooth everything out it fits perfectly you can get really close to the lash line I've just been loving this so this has been a complete game changer in my makeup kit and it's wonderful and I definitely recommend you try it out whether you're a makeup artist or not it's really great if you hate getting your fingers dirty I only have one eyeshadow palette just because I haven't had the time to really do my eyeshadow or try out a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. I was loving the Jackie Ina palette but I've only used it like two or three times. Just not enough to justify putting it in this video but I have been loving it but this one another game changing product that I need to talk about with you guys. This is the Visi Art Paris Nudes palette and I don't know if you can tell but it is used and abused ready so I picked this up during the Muse Beauty Pro sale and I knew I was gonna like it but I had no idea how much I was going to love it I bought this with the intention of using it as an eyelid palette for my brides because this screams bridal colors to me and I was right but this is literally my go-to palette for my bridal makeup typically when I do weddings I will pull out my Viseart the Grande Pro 1 the matte palette and then this one and that's all I need. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the colors and the quality of this. I knew I love Viseart but the way that these looked in the pan I didn't think they were going to be all that and they did end up being all that. The finish on the lid is such a pretty satin. It's not too shiny for people that don't like obnoxious shiny makeup but it's also not too flat. Like I don't feel like I need to wet the brush or anything. It's just a very pretty natural satin that does brighten up the eyes. In particular, the shades that I find myself reaching for are this shade for somebody who wants a really light champagne eye, this one and this one for people who may like a little bit more of a golden tone. I have this beautiful peach color on my lid today. Great for like I want shadow but I don't want it to look like I'm wearing shadow kind of looks. Somebody who asks for blush tones, this is a really pretty lid color. I don't know, this is just a perfect palette and the shadows show up even prettier on the eyelid than they do in here. This is one of my new makeup kit staples, another game changer. It's fantastic. I know some of you mentioned to me that you were thinking about picking this palette up, and honestly, I'm not disappointed with this at all. This is definitely one of my favorite Busy Art palettes now. Let's give eyeliner a little bit of love today. Lately, surprisingly, I've been really liking pencil liner, which is something I never thought I would say because I really, really hate pencil liners, but I've really been liking the ColourPop Cream Gel eyeliner in the shade Mr. Bing. This is just a like dark brown shade. So my love for this started when I did a full face of ColourPop and literally I just use this on my upper lash line and even in my waterline which is something I rarely do because that closes off my eyes. But honestly this brown really defined my eyes without looking too harsh or scary because it is brown. So specifically I've been loving this shade because it gives my eyes some definition when I want extra definition without making me look scary. And for just a few bucks the formula of this is really good. The lasting power is not bad at all, honestly. I think it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. So if you are looking for some pencil liners, ColourPop is the way to go. They have a lot of fun colors that I want to pick up. I have a purple one, which I love in this formula. So I'm definitely interested in trying some more colors out. But I've really been liking this. And I've been liking the look of brown eyeliner a lot as well. And even in my waterline, which is a big deal for me because I hate anything that's like not white or nude in my waterline. Okay, I guess we'll stick with pencils. Esam came out with a lot of pencil products. Honestly, when these released, I thought they looked nice, but I didn't really know what to think of them. I just had no idea if they were going to be good or not. And it did take me a while to actually use them just because I was overloaded with so many products. And then once I did use them, I was like, wow, these are really good. All of their pencil products are made in Germany, which is awesome. They have a few different types of pencils. So I guess I just did the eyes. So I'll start off with the eye ones, but they're all dual sided. So there's actually six colors all together. For somebody like me who's a makeup artist, I 
love that. I really appreciate that. They're sharpenable. So the one that I use the most is probably the gold and brown because I've been obsessed with brown eyeliner. So I keep that ColourPop one for myself. I actually put this one in my kit. I don't love the metallic side. I definitely have to kind of build it to get it to show in my waterline. Though the metallic side is really nice kind of as an inner corner, but on my waterline I did struggle a little bit. But the matte side is so good. They set pretty good to last as well and they're just a really nice creamy formula. So they have a brown and gold one, a rose and aubergine one. This one's also really really nice especially for people that don't want black eyeliner. And then of course you have a platinum and black one. And the black is just so black and creamy. I really like these. Also from their pencil products, I think this is my favorite of their pencil products. Their brow defining pencils, so good. A lot of times I feel like brow pencils aren't special, but these really do have something special. I particularly use the shade Brunette on myself. That's what I use today. And they're just so finely tipped. And they're one of those brow products that give off just the right amount of product. You can get super thin lines with them. They don't apply too pigmented, but they don't apply not pigmented at all. Seriously, you get the right amount of color and the right amount of creaminess. So they don't over blend, but they also don't like stay still. They blend when you want them to blend. I feel like with the Fenty, though I did like it, I felt like it was a little bit too hard and waxy. I feel like this one is just a little bit more creamy as well as the tip is even finer. And they have a really been liking these brow pencils and then they also came out with some lip pencils as well again the same thing with the eye pencils that they're dual sided so you have a great range of colors a red based one a nude based one and then a plum based one I have not tried the red one but I have played with the kind of brown based one where there's a nude and a dark nude and I really like there's two tones of one color so that you can really add dimension to the lips and they're very creamy so you can blend them. I love a good waxy lip pencil formula but sometimes you just want a creamier lip pencil so these ones are more creamy so you can put them all over your lips. You can blend them in with other colors or the color on the other side. Just super good lip pencils. Yeah, I was very surprised at how much I loved the new Isam like pencil collection. It was fabulous. I have one more pencil. This is the Alamar Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade Dolce. She came out with this whole beautiful nude lip collection which you should definitely check out. This is actually the lip liner I have on now. This is such a good color. Think of contour from Pat McGrath. It's one of those colors that you can put on under almost any lip color and it looks good. It adds definitions. You can overline. It's just an absolutely stunning color. Again, a more creamy formula, which is not a bad thing. It just glides on the lips and it's a really stunning nude color. So I've been loving this lip pencil. Pretty similar to the Isom formula, but still different. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to mention my mascara that I've been loving recently. This is the Essence Lash Princess. It really separates my lashes in a way that a lot of other mascaras can't. And it really, really lengthens... Light oh my goodness, lengthens them as well. You guys know I love my Pat McGrath mascara, but that one is like more volumizing, but it still kind of clunks up my lashes just a little bit, not enough to bother me or to have me stop loving it, but I didn't notice how much it did that until I played with this and I realized it looked like I had a million lashes and they were super long. So I've been loving this. This is a really good like $4, $3 mascara. We're on the home stretch. Let's talk about lip products. I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury like diamond lip colors. These these came out like last month and I didn't talk about them. Only two colors came out but I did want to tell you guys what I think. So one is in a more coppery color right here and then the other one is of course a pillow talk diamonds which is more light and pinky and they're super glittery I had to have them even though I don't ever wear like glitter lips and I put them on my lips and I was like these are hideous like so gross. My lips looked dry, glittery. The glitter wouldn't come off. I literally was packing these away to return because I thought they were horrible. And before I packed them away, I was like, all right, let me put it on one last time. I put, I believe it was Pillow Talk Diamonds over a lip gloss I was already wearing and it transformed my lips. All of a sudden, I had the most pretty shimmer lips. It wasn't obnoxious. It wasn't metallic like a lot of glitter lips can make your lips look. It was just shimmer 
shimmery and beautiful. And so I realized, don't wear these alone. Don't even wear these with a lip liner. Wear these over a creamy lip base. Mix them in to add a little bit of extra va to your lips. Even on top of a gloss, this makes the gloss look like it's like a glittery gloss. So I've been loving these to amp up a lip look. So let me show you. So right now I have one of the new Natasha Denona lipsticks on. I'm just going to put a little bit of Lucky Diamonds right on top. So, I don't know if you can see, but it just transformed that lipstick. It added a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit extra to my lips without it looking gross like it does alone. So, I've been loving these to amplify my lip looks. Um, also, the Natasha Denona lipsticks get an honorable mention. Not really a full blown <laughs> segment here because they are so new to me. I've only worn them the past couple of days. But I will be filming a video on the colors that I did purchase. So, just stay tuned for that. But I've been liking them. So, that's just a sneak peek since I am wearing one. Last product. This is a hair product and it's a hair product from Revlon. This is pretty not new. I've seen a lot of videos on them and finally I was listening to a podcast and somebody mentioned that they use this and it like changed their hair game. So I just bit the bullet. I picked it up and I am obsessed with this. Be warned, this still does burn your hair. It's not, it does not have like heat protectant technology for your hair. It's a heated tool. However, you guys have seen my hair. You know how it is. I'm on day four right now. I blew this out four days ago and I mean my hair's not perfect but you guys you know what the natural texture of my hair is. It's amazing and you see how the little curled ends are still holding up so good and it's super easy to do when you get out of the shower wait till it's like i would say 70 to 80 percent air dried and then you just kind of put your hair on it you turn it on it blows and you go down i don't want to brush my hair up but you go down and then you twist it and then your hair is dry and you get a beautiful blowout like effect i've literally been obsessed with this it is a game changer in my hair routine one of my new favorite hair tools. I was skeptical at first because I have such frizzy hair. I was like, there's no way. It's just gonna make my hair look even frizzier. And I will admit, kind of when it's freshly done on my hair, my hair is a little bit frizzier. But as time goes on, when I put oil on my hair or if I go to bed, the frizziness definitely goes away. So I've been loving that. So now it's time for my favorite part of my favorites videos where I tell you about a channel that I've been loving this month. So I didn't actually have a lot of time to really watch videos unfortunately this month so I didn't find a really cool new channel that I wanted to mention to you guys. However, I did want to give an extra special shout out to Erin Nicole TV. I actually already did a collaboration with her this month but I did want to give her some extra love because I genuinely really love her channel. Her videos are so good and her channel just continues to get better and better. So if you like luxury makeup, definitely check her channel out. She specializes in Chanel makeup, which is something that I definitely do not have too much knowledge in. So I totally trust her. She is absolutely stunning. Her videos are so professional. She's so eloquent, so sophisticated. I just, you guys would love her. I just wanted to shout her channel out again because her channel is amazing. But honestly, some game changers were discovered this month. So down below, I want you to comment one product that has changed your game this month. If I had to pick one out of all of these, I can't. I think I'm stuck between the Laura Mercier, the Vizzy Art, and the hair product. Okay, so that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, have a good one.